What do you call this? Do you uh, not know what this is um, called? Welcome to Unpacked. A series where we break down the big stuff that's living in your mind rent-free. And we make it more manageable. I'm Connor. And I'm Tom. And today we're unpacking the Oscars. What are the biggest controversies? Who's been snubbed? And is there a future for the Oscars? Right, Connor, what is in the box? What is in the box? Let's take a look. The first thing in the box is an Oscars award given to me for the best presenter out of us two. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I've got a little game that I want us to play because this award represents the history of the Oscars, better known as the Academy Awards, actually. Did you know that? I did know that, <laughs> I actually yes. Didn't know that. I'm going to give you a lot of milestones where big events happened in the Oscars. How far back are we going? From the start. You, you sprung this on me. <laughs> yeah, I know. A lot of it surprised me, so I'm interested to see if you're going to get it. Okay. So when was the first award show held? When do you think? How far does it go back? 1918. Mm. Relatively close. I'm mean, close. I mean, within five years. No. Oh. Within 10 years. 10 years. 1932. Close. A little bit below. 31. No. 30. No. How is this? Keep... <laughs> 29? There we go. Yes. So. Oh, it's literally just, I was just out. Yeah. Well, the first Oscars was held in 1929. $5 a ticket, which I think is the equivalent. I think it's like 80 something dollars right now. Wait, to the public? Yeah. And it was watched by 270 people. (laughs) And it was 15 minutes. Probably their highest rating. 15 minutes, and then you'd go home. That was it. 15? (laughs) Of course, they're just two awards. Well, 15 minutes ceremony. You literally go there, get your award, and walk (laughs) off. It's about three hours now. When was the first televised Oscars? Got to use a bit of history for when the TVs were created. Yeah, way back when in my old days. Uh, 1941. Relatively close. Again, you're the same off as you were when you guessed 19... As in by a decade. By 11 years. 1953 was the first televised Oscars. Surprised you or not? I wasn't alive then, Tom, no. (laughs) Fair enough. Okay, well, what about this? When was the Oscars first broadcasted in colour? Oh, God, 74. 1966. (laughs) You're not great at this game. No, you're not good. But an interesting fact about the statue is nothing has changed other than just the statue, like the bottom of the statue. Oh, we have one here. It's very nice. And now we've got one for me, not you. Get off, it's for me. (laughs) You want to put that here? Well, Connor, what is in the box? What is in the box? Let us have a look. (laughs) (laughs) It's a bit of a reach. (laughs) Okay, right, and we have the famous Oscar selfie. When was this? Twenty fourteen. You was a wee baba back then. I was. <laughs> um, I don't think I actually remember this. I've seen this photo somewhere, but well, I don't. How old would you have been? You would have been. Like I would have been 10? eleven. Um, yeah, this was at the time. It's obviously been broken now, but at the time, this was the most like retweeted and like tweet. Just because of the celebrities, or is there? Yeah, any... this was probably the epitome of um like fangirling over celebrities really Mm -hmm. i remember watching i was watching it live and then we found out as well afterwards it was also sponsored but it wasn't staged what 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 does the photo represent it humanizes them but like you've got what angelina jolie in the picture ellen bradley cooper and all these people nominated meryl i think 2013 like 2014 was like the biggest the oscars ever was i think it was reaching like 40 million viewers or something and just after this now and we've seen two years over it's obviously been declining 17.1 million i think the last one got the last one last 17 years. million if i'm right or 18 million i mean it is three hours which is a lot though but compared to that, I mean, that that was the peak of... But that would be for America, it was wasn't peak. it? So. Yeah, it was the peak of the Oscars for sure. And I think we've grown tired of actors patting themselves on the back. Yeah, but we're going to get into that later on. We're gonna oh, get we into are, that we are. Because there are a couple of things that the Oscars have had problems with since 2013, which we'll go into next. Comment down below whether you're still watching the Oscars or if it's something that you left in 2013, 2014 when it was at its peak. What's next in the box, Tom? Let's take a look. The Prince CD. Why the Prince CD? Well, that represents controversies. There's pretty much one every year. Yeah, and the main one, before we bring up any more, is obviously Oscars So White, which I think is probably the biggest one. It didn't pick up until 2016, but 2015 is when people started clicking on it to it a little bit, where all 20 nominations for acting roles were, were, white. were white actors. And then same again in 2016. I do remember Oscars So White. Yeah. I think that's the same year a lot came out as well with Emma Stone famously playing a Hawaiian. There's obviously been a lot of controversies, especially like Barbie's Barbie getting snubbed this year. This last year. year we had Will Smith. 
Slapgate. And that chaos. Slapgate was a big one. Yeah. On what a live broadcast. One? What other ones were there? We had the, the Moonlight and La La Land mix up. Yeah. That was massive. Yeah. That was embarrassing. I remember watching that. It seems like every year or every other year, there's at least something that people are going to talk Which about. Which is funny because they're now. losing ratings. And I know they have tried to obviously mix it up and how they do the voting. So it was mm. showing like a disconnect between... Yeah. The economy versus the general public. Yeah. And I think we even saw that with uh, Moonlight winning. Another main problem was obviously the academy membership because that was 92% white. Yeah. Which obviously led to a lot of questions. Yeah. And I think people don't realise that's, they're the people who vote. Exactly. And it gets the nomination. Exactly. I believe that statistic was 2015. I'm I not too sure about now, but they it does seem like they have diversed it. But like you good. said, like if you were a white American, you're going to resonate more with a, a film that's based in Hollywood than you would a film, you know, that's based about a cultural background that you're not from. You should be able to have an experience yeah. whether you're from that culture or not. Mm -hmm. And obviously we've seen the economy change. We had Parasite getting the big win in 2020. Yeah, but the first is that non, not the only? Yeah, the first non- English speaking film. Like, I know you've not seen it, but I it is a good seen film. It, but that, what a it, surprise. That statistic shocks me. They're like the only one. It was a nice change mm. to see such a, a, a recognized and deserved film, normally where they'd just be relegated to best international film. It was the film version of Squid Game, basically. Right. Like that was the hype. I should probably go watch it. You should. It's honestly, <laughs> you'll will. have a good time. I'll go watch it after this. Do you think any film's been snubbed at the Oscars? There's been quite a few, if you ask me. But let us know in the comments below. Right, Connor, what is in the box? What is in the box? Again, this box is very full. So we have a little mic. A mini mic. I think you remember these <laughs> from so your small early compared days. To your mic. Yes. Yeah, so and what does size that Size doesn't matter, Tom. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> um, <laughs> what does that represent? The podium of change with the Oscars, like we've mentioned. Yeah. Very slowly, admittedly. Yeah. We do have a bit of a backtrack because obviously Barbie was snubbed yeah. at the Oscars. Yeah. Which would be fine if not the only nomination it did get was for Best Supporting Actor. Yeah. Which for doesn't Ryan, make which sense. defeats the purpose it doesn't of make the sense. film. Yeah. But I mean, then not, not the director. I know Margot spoke out that she's not fussed. No. That she wasn't nominated, but she's sad that Greta Gerwig. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't, I, which I get, I, I get. It just seems like it is a step back. But why weren't they nominated? Well, America Ferreira did also get Best Supporting Actress, but it just seems so tone deaf. And, especially and then after... ignore Margot and Greta Gerwig with mm. the whole point of the film. Yeah, so I'm guessing Oppenheimer's obviously there. Yeah. Uh, with Christopher Best Nolan. film. Oh, you know Chris Nolan? I do know Chris Nolan. <laughs> Yeah, That's what other films? Know. What other films is I'm he I'm not going to talk about that, but I do know Christopher Nolan. Name his last film. But I don't know. Oppenheimer. Well, it's Oppenheimer. There yeah. you go. But he's one. obviously made it there. And seeing the success that both of them got, I mean, you've got to give credit to Greta there. And they're making change, but unfortunately this change has had to happen in ways which it's... It always seems reactionary. Yeah, it always because seems of something's happened because, or controversy, yeah. it's had to be changed. Which, exactly. It's not like they're doing it naturally. Yeah, it should be they a very fair... doing it because everyone speaks out. And it's not even just for inclusion it's like these are good films yeah it's like people are making isn't exactly it? because it's like you can't ignore that like if they did put that like not put that in i think they would have obviously got a lot of controversy but there's a, so many films that i can name which if they haven't been in that big category because, like an, an, an made by western made yeah, by america exactly, like exactly, a uk based company yeah to also go on the other side of the argument though there's been a lot of great films in 2023 so what would you remove in order for barbie to get the slots that it deserves for the best director for Greta to get oh, her for spot. best yeah because Barbie's nominated one. for best yeah. picture but not best director what are you removing I'm sorry I'm such like devil's advocate I'm just gonna be like why why not have a seventh yeah that's fair it's a fair point it's still a voting yeah it's, it's, it's fair if there's if there's enough the Oscars good films, have changed the rules before if they can change them again add it in and I just think it can be a lousy excuse yeah. to be like, oh, we can only have so many nominations. Yeah. And I'm like, if there's so many good films, make room for them. Yeah. And again, saying like, it's a great film, but, but not enough for the director. Not to enough win. for the director, despite so, yeah. the best picture means yeah. overall it's solid. So yeah, it's a bit of a step back, but I hopefully they're starting to make some more positive changes. I haven't watched Barbie. You haven't watched Not Barbie? Yet. No. Not yet. It's Honestly, on my list. When you watch it, America Ferreira. I can't say I know who that is. <laughs> if I'm honest. He knows Chris Nolan, at least. I know so Chris Nolan. Do you? What other film did he do? Did he? 
<laughs> okay, this could sound no, terrible. Did wild he do card. Marvel? Okay, Tom, what's next in the box? The final thing in the what's box. What's in the box? What do you call this? Do you um, not know what this is a, called? A tape. A tape. This is tape, golden. A tape, it's a cassette a tape. tape. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That one. Have you ever seen one of these before? Is this new? <laughs> it actually might be one of the first ones I've ever seen. I'm not I'm not even that old, okay? I'm not that old. I'm, you're quite old. You're relatively old. I'm just wise. <laughs> so it represents is there a future for the Oscars? Is it outdated? Like the tape is, you see? Mm. Yeah, this little... You should have just got a VHS tape. I think that would have been more... It would have been better. Do you know what a VHS tape is? No. Let's move on. Now, obviously we spoke earlier. 40 million views in the peak. Now, drop into 18 million, which is still obviously a lot. Not Why for an American decreasing? broadcast. Is there a future? Is it going to keep decreasing? My opinion on this, now I had a look at some forums as well as so other people's opinion too. Did you look on Reddit? Yeah. People are annoyed that the Oscars has now turned into, you know, celebrities wearing the most expensive so things. And it's not relatable anymore. Yeah. And as I said, it's all about the big celebrities. No one cares about there's a new film that's the biggest, most viewed in the UK. Like a nice little indie film. And it's not as much for big actor compared to, I don't know, Zendaya. There's, and I'm a big film advocate. You know this. Yeah. Like, I will literally talk film mm -hmm. to the end of time but unfortunately. yeah the Os unfortunately yeah. but yeah the oscars i think the oscars is outdated why it's very like you're saying it's 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 turned into a facade of celebrities and patting themselves on the back rather brands. than celebrating and brands and and just the commercialization yeah. of it like it's a three-hour show but is that not every it's award three show hours. nowadays though like is it just the oscars say nowadays again is, is, this, just, is this just the future of it award is shows? it is and it is um but i know oscars it. was obviously known for having its long history and having its you know proper film fans and it's a shame to see the dwindling numbers but it's more of a shame to see no changes be made but then what changes do they make? The problem with the Oscars is that it's more or less exclusively for people who see more in film than just going watching it at the yeah. cinema, which is obviously niche. You know, I assume that there will be some uptick this year because of Barbie and Oppenheimer, but it's not a general audience show, but it's presented like one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and, and the relatability, I mean, as you said, look at this photo. It's a selfie. It's This is a good platform to promote my new album, or this is a new place yes. to get some more eyes on me. Well, this was the height of, you could say, like when social media was really yeah. maturing. Everyone's trying to grab your eyes for attention. Mm -hmm. And they're saying, like, the red carpet's turned into that. Not dissing them. Like, people were yeah. absolutely stunning outfits and yeah. it's it's weird when you've got a show like the oscars which is supposed to celebrate filmmakers but you have these two conflicting ideas yeah. of mass audience versus mm -hmm. niche let me let me throw in a quick question is does, it name a chris nolan film <laughs> no does rotten tomato and new online rating like film rating websites have anything to do with the decline there's a lot easier access to obviously see a film and whether it's good or not before watching it yeah. uh, but you have like review bombing yeah or even the opposite of like uplifting a mm -hmm. film where it isn't it just makes the oscars feel irrelevant again to like the mass audience well comment down below let us know your thoughts is the oscars outdated or not we both think yes <laughs> we both think yes the film advocate and the film not, not forget. <laughs> <laughs> well connor the box is completely empty oh there's nothing in the box nothing if Don't anyone act. got that reference please let us know in the comments below and subscribe and let us know what you want us to unpack next because i very much enjoy making you squirm asking you questions you don't know about <laughs> and i'm taking this for my best presenter role thank you we'll let the nominations decide <laughs> yeah, yeah me or you comment yeah please let us know who won me. the best presenter me have been snogged i've snogged the oscars have been snogged i'm gonna cut that out not snubbed <laughs>